100 rated chess, but you reveal the challenge right before you checkmate your opponent. I'm a little worried that there is a WTF reaction right here. But I'm better than my viewers. We get a 181 from Australia. E4. E5. I can play freely before the challenge begins, Bishop C4. This is a very niche opening called, the center game accepted, Von der Laas a gambit, which is actually my favorite opening as white. Knight C6. C3. D takes C3. Queen F3. C takes B2. Aha! The king blunder happens much quicker than I thought, but instead of checkmating, of course, it is time to reveal the challenge. Return all your remaining pieces, not pawns, to their starting position, then checkmate your opponent with a pawn. If you have no pawns left, you lose. Wow! So now I don't checkmate, I get undeveloped, and my opponent gets a queen. This is going very wrong very quickly. B pawn changes gender. Bishop f1. Queen takes b1. Alright, now we officially start the game again, with me down 19 points in materials. Knight f3. Let's make it 20. Well, it seems like one queen attacking a small and lonely pawn is not enough. Bishop e2. Minus 20. Bishop e3. Queen 4 e6. Castle. My king is officially safe, now we turn the table. Queen takes a2. Rook e1. It seems like having two queens in the early game makes him become too confident in himself that he doesn't even care about developing the other pieces, so now we obviously should take over the center of the board, and a blunder should be happening. Right. Now. There we go. That blunders a horsey. Queen takes e5. That blunders a queen. Bishop d4. Queen e d5. Bishop c4 discovered check with a triple attack. Queen e6. That blunders two queens. Bishop takes a2, and I'll pre-move queen takes c1. Didn't happen. Bishop takes e6. F takes e6. I won both his queen, but the material difference is still 6 points in his favor, so I still need to be aggressive in order to win something more. Queen h5 check. g6. I think the best move right now should be queen h3 waiting for rook g8 queen h7, but I know for sure that he's just gonna blunder his rook, so I guess, queen f3. Disclaimer. No disrespect here. Knight c6. That blunders a rook. Alright, now I need to start thinking of a way to checkmate with a pawn, when I only have three of them left. Knight e5. Cleaning his board is also an option. d6. All the way back. I need to find a way to let my queen infiltrate his territory. Well, very convenient. Queen takes b7. And then after a few more moves, rook g6, rook d6, queen d6, king f7, rook g4, my opponent resigned. And even though I won the game, I couldn't checkmate him with my pawn. Mission. Not accomplished.